how I've been feeling lately. How I've been feeling lately? Hey, criminal, how you've been feeling lately? Hmm. Actually, I've been feeling better. But that's because since yesterday, yes. Since yesterday, I've been feeling better. Want to know why I've been feeling better? Because I'm meditating every single day. And uh, yesterday, I went for a walk. But guess what's been going on lately with me, personally? I've been extremely, feel, like, really, really anxious and a lot of anxiety. And I haven't been going out at all. At all. I haven't been going out at all, dude. Like, I've been staying home almost every day. And a lot of the days, I'm extremely anxious because I do absolutely nothing. Say it again. Uh, I've been doing absolutely nothing, which fucking sucks a lot. Um, like, I'll be here. I'll be watching YouTube. I'll do whatever I can to distract myself. But there's only so much you can do to distract yourself. And I know there's a lot of people that know exactly what what I mean. You're just sitting around. You're doing whatever you can, distracting yourself. Oh, I'll play a fucking game. I'll watch this. Even when I play guitar, whatever. But there's only so many hours you can do that for. Usually when it hits like 10 o'clock is when I get extremely anxious. I don't know what to do. I'm like, I should go outside. Then I have this weird fear of going outside. Oh my God, I don't want to go outside. I make every excuse in the book to not go outside. And then I'm like, maybe I should exercise. Oh, let me make an excuse for that in my head. Then I just sit there and I'm just nervous. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait to go to sleep. But then on top of that, I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to go to sleep because... The next day is going to be terrible. So it's a million things that go in against each other. It's like, oh, I don't want to go to sleep. Uh, I do want to go to sleep, but it's going to be terrible the next day. Oh, I didn't do this. I didn't do that. I've, it's just been really, really bad lately. But the other day I worked out. Just had to, you know, flex my boobs. Anyways, the other day I worked out uh, my chest. Uh, yesterday I worked out my biceps. I'm sure today they're going to be extremely sore as fuck. And uh, maybe I might work out today. So here's the thing that I've realized. There, 100%, I've been staying away from streaming a little bit, obviously. I'm just like, eh, I don't feel like streaming that much. It's just like, eh. But at the same time, I'm like, I should just be creating content no matter what. Almost every day I should be doing something. Even if it's for one hour, something needs to be done. Uh, so... I'm going to start streaming a little bit more every now and then, just stream a little bit, make these videos every now and then, um, play guitar more, go outside. I actually took a walk yesterday and I had an excuse to take a walk. This is the saddest part. This is how you know I'm the, every single day I'm like, I'm going to fucking, I'm going to go outside every day. I literally had, I ordered sneakers, right? Cause I'm like, holy shit. I found these sneakers extremely cheap and i'm going to show them to you because they're amazing to me this is my style totally uh <laughs> they're reeboks sponsored to you by reeboks yeah right i wish anyways i bought these sneakers i know before i show them to you just get your napkins up because you're gonna probably start crying i'm like oh my god those sneakers are fucking amazing wow criminal you have amazing taste yeah i know i do yeah i know i do i know i have amazing taste i know Okay, so I ordered these. Can you believe? These are like 100 bucks, But I got it for $40.50, baby! Go to Zappos. Z-A-P-P-O-Z. -P -P Go to Zappos and order yourself some if you want those shoes. They always have amazing deals. I don't, I'm not a dumbass. I don't buy sneakers when they're full price. Get the fuck out of here! I wait for them to go to their price that they're... they're they cost less than $40 to be made. Sneakers are extremely cheap, so I die of laughter every time I see someone buy sneakers for like $300. You guys are fucking morons. Now, for the people that actually buy sneakers and resells them, it makes sense because you're trying to make money, but for those that, I don't even know. Dude, just the other day I saw some Yeezys and someone had the Yeezys for sale, right? Do you know how much they had the Yeezys for sale? They were up for $11,000, or maybe it was $111,000. I was just like, what in the fucking world? 
But that's a whole other scenario. Let me get back to how I've been feeling. But yeah, so, so I waited for those sneakers to arrive. I was like, ah, when those sneakers arrive, that's going to be my excuse to go outside and take a walk. And it was. And it actually was. Once they arrived, put them on, went outside, tried them on. Oh, they're really comfortable. I really love them. Oh, my God. I was a little bit anxious, but it's so funny. I needed an excuse just to go outside. I needed to get those sneakers just to go outside. It's fucking crazy. So I feel your pain for those people out there. Just make excuses for yourself to go outside, do something. Go across the street, buy yourself a Snickers bar. Do whatever you got to do. Even if you have to walk around your goddamn block, it'll make you feel 100 times better. Please get hobbies like uh, read a book, fucking play guitar, learn an instrument, Learn how to rap, yo, yo, and you know I'm going to take a crap on your face, and you know it's going to fill with lace, laces from the paces and the cases. Anyways, I'm just rhyming, by the way. There's no, that's not, I mean. Anyways, um, yeah, so just do that or something. Learn how to cook. Just get a bunch of hobbies, things that will make you, like, feel better about yourself and stuff like that. And that's all I got to say. Uh, I'm going to keep trying. Uh, today I'm going to try to go for a walk again. And yeah, and I got to force myself to go out as well, by the way. I can't just be like, uh, you know, like go to movies by myself, do stuff, a bunch of stuff by myself. It's hard to do it because it feels weird. Like, I guess it's the, yeah, just in my head, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to go so far away just to watch a movie or something. I want to go back to going to live shows, watching movies, doing whatever I want to do by myself, eating by myself, whatever I got to do by myself. Criminal, but why does it always, why does it got to be by yourself? Because I don't have that many people around me, okay? I'm actually trying to get back to being happy by myself all over again. Obviously, I know some people, maybe I'll see them sometimes, but nowadays I'm by myself. And the, and the best thing I could do for myself is continue to put out content go for walks, go out, go to shows, do all this stuff, and that's it. And that's my update of how I've been. Uh, thank you for all the supporters out there that have always been supporting me. And you know what? I have to talk about one specific supporter because I keep saying, I just remembered right now. I'm always like, don't worry, my brother. I'm going to show you my brother, and I'm going to show him right now. I just remembered. This person right here, shout out. To this good looking guy right here. Let me put let me show you. Shout out to Abidal. Abidal is his name. Always supported me since the motherfucking beginning. Look at this guy. This guy is this Leonardo DiCaprio, but the hotter version or what? He looks like he should be in the Revenant, the movie. I don't know why they hired Leonardo. They should have hired him. He's from Slovenia, my brother, all the way from Slovenia. He always supported me. Shout out to him. I just had to give him a shout out. Cause he's the man. Always supported me since the very fucking beginning. When, when I mean the beginning, I mean the beginning. This guy's been following me. He's what you call an OG. Always watch my streams. Comes by my streams. Just the other day, this motherfucker's like, Oh, sorry, Criminal Juice. Uh, for a long time in my country, I wasn't able to have a credit card. Now I can donate to you. Motherfucker goes, I tell him. I'm like, listen, brother. You don't even have to donate or subscribe to me on, on Twitch. You don't even got to do that. Because you've been, you, just your support, always being there, and how important that is when people are actually on my stream and they support me. Like, he's an actual person that wants to see me grow. There's a lot of people out there. Oh, I want to see you grow, dude. You're fucking great. I'm like, no, you don't. Because you're never at my streams. You could care less about me growing. You just want to stop by once a month for five minutes and go, you're, 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 you're a terrorist. That's literally, like, you're not a, you're, like... I know who the actual supporters are in my life and the people and I appreciate you very much. So that was a shout out to Abidal. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube. Please. Please. Anyways, okay, bye. Suck it.